another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast. I am the best guy ever, and we're joined today by Tom Oliver. Uh, I just got a jewel. Ben has corrupted me yes! even further. Jewel boys. That's degeneracy. So degeneracy. Jewel boys. Jewel boys. Jewel boys. Uh, I can't. I can't praise it just yet. It might suck. I'll, I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you updated. That's good. Ben's here, unfortunately. Uh, I got my jewel. Where's yours, viewers? <laughs> uh, buried in the ancient treasure, you know, as they do. Because uh, uh, I'm a pirate, along with my pirate cow captain hypocrite. What the fuck is Hoodwinked? I don't understand how this movie is. Like, everybody Hang knows on. about it. Everybody's seen Hoodwinked, the animated fucking feature film. I, I don't only get know. it. I only know what Hoodwinked is because Big Joel mentioned it on his Big latest Jewel? video. Big Jewel? Yeah, Big... Oh, well, Big Jewel. My, that's, I'm gonna, maybe I should do fan art of Big Joel where he's Big Jewel. <laughs> and he's just got six jewels in his mouth at once. Okay, I just... Uh, show notes, here we go. First link. Look at this, everybody. Putting this in the, in the links chat there. Just look at this image of Hoodwinked. This looks like the worst movie I've ever seen. Uh, and it probably is. Uh, Activities wait. based oh, on good the movie. Lord. I wait, didn't which, even know what this channel. Is... In the gross, disgusting. I had audio no idea links. what you were talking about. This looks terrifying. It's like it, I've I've just been talking about it on Discord. Like uh, it seems to be, <laughs> everyone in the world has seen this as a child and knows about it. And I've never heard old? of it until the in yeah. This is an old um movie, like near the beginning of 3D, I suppose, where it was just like really badly made. And it's got some famous people in it. It's kind of like um, Ant Bully, but worse. Yeah, it's the, probably before they figured it's out. It's hard like, not to be worse. What, what out are these activities shit. based on the movie? I don't. It's know. It's gotta be like a coloring book, right? Uh, okay, this is probably like a coloring book that comes with it or something. Um, I don't. I don't know. Man, this looks <laughs> terrible. Uh, well, anyway. So what else is going on, people? Oh, hey, hey. Uh, oh, I get uh, it. It's hashtag... like Red Riding Hood winked. Yeah, yeah, uh, I think so. And these are all yeah. the characters: the woodsman sure. and the and the frog, famously. Oh, from, yeah. yeah, he was always Red, my favorite you know, character. Red Riding Hood, <laughs> the detective fro the French, frog. French, as he's the French real frog, Monsieur Frog. <laughs> Pet oh my! Uh, what, uh, the what the, the gr green skin the, you have. The the grandma the grandma's uh, spicy lover. Hmm. Uh, hey, so this is the first week, uh, you'll be hearing this, uh, I think, yeah, one week into the hashtag PCP editor contest is up and running, people, so let me just get that out of the way. You'll still have one week to make a fucking entry. We'll, again, put the link in the show notes. There's a video on this channel with just the condensed stuff, so you can just go fucking check that, probably. Maybe we'll just link that in the show notes instead. Uh, yeah, go fucking, uh, enter the contest if you want to be the official every week PCP editor. All the details are in the document and in the video, so go go read those carefully and enter if you care to. We've already gotten a bunch of submissions. Rem remember, though. remember, viewers, uh, if you whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're mm. right. That was that <laughs> was that Albert Einstein said that. That's that's very wise. That's very wise. Carl Sagan uh, said that. Michio Kaku said that. Black Science Man said that. <laughs> Orange Man Bad said that he most likes, famously. Dude, I love Orange Man Bad. I follow him on Twitter. Uh, oh, I, I, I saw Orange Man Bad today in a Cheetos ad. Uh, we, it is Chester Cheeto we're talking about, right? That's, yeah. No, Cheeto yeah. Man. Cheeto Man is his Oh, sorry. Name. Cheeto Man. Right. <laughs> uh, I have been, I've been recently... Um, getting absorbed in in watching mm -hmm. my brother play a video game it's like it's like That's a personal what I did when stream I was young. um and mm -hmm. it's cool because in that his was, room that, he's... i would just bully nate i would just bully nate and make it well and well i don't nate did i did i, I was make pretty content did I, I was gonna say yeah i didn't have to make you watch me play video games you just liked to yeah, yeah. I mean, I was, like, around 6 to 10, probably, in those days. I, mean, I, think, but yeah, I, you know. I think sometimes I felt bad, like I was, like, being mean, like, oh, I'm hogging the video game. But, like, mm, you, mm. I think that was just kind of what you were into for a while there. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, not yeah, exclusively, yeah. but, yeah. Uh, people, people with siblings who play video games understand, uh, like, the appeal of Let's Plays before they were real. Because yeah. it's, it's sometimes Agreed. it is just fun to just sit back and just watch somebody play a game. Sure, they're both similarly like friend simulators, but not real friends. <laughs> <laughs> Podcasts and siblings, yeah. both so, parasocial indeed. relationships. <laughs> yeah, but it, it, it's good in his room because he's got like a big old like uh, a big old uh, widescreen TV from like um, mm -hmm. when we upgraded the TV downstairs. You got the big word, one. Word. 
and uh, he's um, hooked it up so that it's like a huge TV up on a table, and he's got this chair, and I just sit in the chair, and it's like a cinema. I'm watching him play this game uh, called Kenshi, which is uh, really, really cool and really in-depth, and here's my game review. Here's my hypocrite okay. game review. I'm, I'm coming back. <laughs> this, is, this is where you get the, the information. Um, Kenshi, <laughs> it's a game about... It's a survival game, but it is incredibly rich with depth of like mechanics and systems mm. basically it's it's hard to explain uh, really quick but if i had like words uh, it would be like a rust <laughs> if it would be like a rustic um like unrefined looking uh reality simulator uh you have your guy that you mm -hmm. you can create and it's got he's got like D and D RPG stats, so like all sorts of stats for like thieving, farming, uh, fighting with certain weapons and things. Okay. Toughness, uh, you know, and uh, all these different races, and you can recruit people in bars, and you can form a squad, and you can steal, and you can fight, and you can you can band together, and you run around in this huge open world uh, landmass, and you just uh, you just survive, you just do whatever you want, you can. Uh, my is, la is landmass the name of the continent? <laughs> uh, yeah. Why not? <laughs> I hope so. Uh, yes. I've, uh, I've, I've just uh, been from the southern reaches of landmass, <laughs> where we all call home. Yeah. Mm. And it's um, it it's got the, like the same energy as Minecraft. It's like a fucking Ooh. Age of Empires, but each individual person in your huge uh team is an individual person who has, like, a personality and can interact with other characters. It's like D&D &D if it was, a like, a, a turn-based RTS, which is a strange way to put it. But it's like you can pause the yeah. game and, like, uh, move inventory while it's paused. And, like, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you, you have people, like, you can assign jobs to them. So, like, if you have, uh, say, a farm, uh, you need uh, a storage for the wheat so that the wheat can be put somewhere once it's been harvested. And then you have a grain silo where the wheat goes in, and then out comes flour, and flour has its own storage box. You put the flour in there, and then you can take it out of there and put it into the bread place to make the bread. And then you have food. And you have a person, you right-click, you shift right-click on, like, the, the bread, and the, the person, <laughs> you, you shift right-click on the bread oven, and the AI will be like, okay... I need wheat, so he'll go check the storage if there's wheat. If there's no wheat, he'll go immediately to go, you know, do all the other to get things. Get wheat for them. Yeah, like yeah, okay. It's it's really uh, advanced AI. It looks like a really old game, but it's I think it's kind of new, and it's like a a, a Kickstarter or, or early access something or other that's now it's on, it's on PC. Yeah, it's on PC. Kenshi. It's pretty cool. Let's well, see. Came out 2013. Looks like okay. Yeah, all right. and it's just it's just. There's so much to it. It's so cool. It's like the biggest in-depth RPG world big thing of all time, and I really like it. <laughs> we, we well, need dope, a, We need dude. a WRPG on this. Western. I've been... Um... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, a oh, GRPW. Wait, wait, I was, was going to say you mean a... G oh, wait, I get it. I get it. You were making... Because it's GRPJ. Well, wouldn't yeah. it be... Wouldn't it it's be GRPW. GR yeah, GRP... Okay. Yeah, Fuck good it. reason to play Western RPG, I guess. GRPW. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I've been playing uh I've been playing Stardew Valley. I um I mean a little bit here and there. I've uh mm -hmm. I started just for for the RFCK episode, I just started a file cuz I was like, well, this is a good game to play. It's just like fucking, you know. Yeah. It's, it's, relax. it's a great game for that. And then um but I started a file and I created the character of uh, Jenny the Juvie, uh, who's mm. a farmer in Arsenbrook Farms. And uh, I fell in love with Jenny, who is a man. <laughs> I am gay now. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 uh, but the thing is, okay, so this might be a little bit of spoiler, but I have plans. I have plans for anyone who has played a lot of Stardew Valley will know this, but yeah. turns out you can breed and farm and ranch slimes. Yeah. And yeah, so I'm right. like, well, I think I know what Jenny the Juvie has to become. I, mm. I like, yeah, she's, she, sorry, he, I get confused. He, a he's a slime got rancher. He's got a, yeah, a, a quote unquote slime rancher game. If you, if you, <laughs> if you will, God, I wish slime rancher had multiplayer. Um, but, it, but you, you 
so uh, I don't know. Jenny's got Jenny's got a really nice functioning farm. You know, cows, sheep, cheese, yep. goats, whatnot, uh, yeah. tomatoes. You know, Jenny's raking it in. But I think I think what she's set on, what any good Juvie's heart is set on, and that's slime. So he's got he's got his work cut out for him to uh to you know to 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 go about achieving you know doing what he wants to do. He's got my poor it. abandoned Stardew Valley file. I haven't played in I don't know six, seven, eight months or so. I'm yeah. sure they're doing fine. Yeah. So it's, it's not like I would it's assume, different from Animal Crossing where it keeps track of time that passes while you don't play. Oh god. So time imagine, hasn't passed. Imagine if you went back to your farm and it was like wrecked. It was it was just like it was all like rotted oh. over and the trees were all dead. I mean the yeah. Animal Crossing system is rather cruel. Uh yeah. to just oh, yeah. it, like you have to keep playing it or things fall into despair. Yeah. And it's a nightmare. It's very cool you, you, to do. You get back there and fucking and fucking Sally Sally the goat or whatever like the bank foreclosed on her house. Yeah. And like <laughs> and like and like uh you know uh jo- Johnny Johnny the Johnny the sea cucumber is yep. like he never leaves his house anymore because his only friend in the world stopped calling him and he got depressed and he went off his meds and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> much. Um you know, I mean, I'm um, sure you guys have all seen that one comic about the dude who has, like, his DS, whatever, version of uh, oh, New yeah. Leaf or whatever. And he's, like, playing, and he hasn't uh, played in a while. And he's like, ah, you know, I want to go back, but I'm I'm just so, like, if I pick it up, they're going to be so mad at me. All my friends, they're going to, they've all forgotten about me and moved on. And then he, and then it just cuts to the world of Animal Crossing where they're having a little party with, like, a framed picture of his character saying, like, never forgotten as they all, like, party around a fire. Oh, oh. no. I, I thought you were going to talk about the one. Have you read the one where, like, the kid is playing? Like, the kid's mom had cancer, and she started mm. playing Animal Crossing, and she really oh, liked yeah. it. Oh, yeah. And then he started this. getting gifts from his mom. But, like, yes. isn't that just a thing that happens in the game? Like, it's not like his mom actually sent him gifts in Okay, but it probably Animal made him Crossing. feel like she was still there or something. I, I, I felt I like guess. the story implies that, like, wow, my mom did all this in the game. Like, just, she just wanted to express her love for me in her final days. It's like, I don't... I don't well, know about okay. all that. This guy needs a fucking wake up call. Your mom's dead and she never loved you that much, dude. She so just it's time liked to get over fucking it. Tom Nook. She just was a big, she just really liked <laughs> co- gathering coral on the beach. Yeah. You idiots. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. well, that hey, might you be know, true. You know, Stardew Valley is just Terraria flattened and which is, and Terraria is just Minecraft uh, flattened. And, the, and Terraria and Minecraft, wait, 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 wait. Is, and Minecraft is just, uh, is just uh, moon, harvest moon, but in, but the in same HD. yeah <laughs> and the best one the best one i still think is okay M- minecraft is pretty amazing but terraria i think is the best like game nope it's the most fun to like play through no uh, maybe i don't know i always get terraria really bored cool. uh Terraria's building because like your base is just eh, i guess it's just a load of sideways what a bullshit Load up. <laughs> what it is bullshit. Not, building bases in terraria is not as interesting in minecraft you can go really crazy it's it's yeah it's definitely better in minecraft but but it's a trade-off of i mean less... ter- terraria doesn't really have much to, of like a building aspect to it no but but what it does have is like the unlocking new biomes and like exploring yeah. the world and like that's way more satisfying in terraria than it is in minecraft in my uh, humble yeah. that, opinion that is that is true but i uh, it's, yeah there's mm-hmm. something about minecraft has very it doesn't have that sense of progression yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I I suppose not so, as much. But anyway. like um, as like I mean, mining and crafting and and building are the three things. I mm-hmm. love building and walking around my creations. Like I see a I mountain, don't know why and they I'm didn't like, call the game Minecraft build. Yeah, <laughs> uh, like I I see like a cool like a recently uh, before I stopped playing games forever. Uh, yeah, I cool. I was in this Minecraft world where I had built this cool base. Um, uh, there were like four, like really steep, sharp hills that went straight up like spikes, and I mm-hmm. built a house uh, on all four, all four corners of those hills, and it was just sort of like uh, looks like it was uh, su- uh, supported by them. And How do you cool. get up there? Oh, uh, wait, the house is sitting on top of the. the those are like the yeah, pillars. Yeah, and 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 up. the floor oh. is glass, and the ceiling is glass, so the sun goes all the way down to the bottom, and it's really cool. Ooh, um, that and I cool. I had like another fortress uh, another uh, gate and i went through it and i f- found myself in a big old desert and i just started mm-hmm. building a real pyramid it was just like <laughs> i i just love stuff in minecraft it, um, it doesn't I even ha- need to be like uh interesting or like 
um, you know, <laughs> the, the the coolest like gameplay experience of all time. It's just like the slow progression of m- carving the world to make it look how I like. Is That's cool. is really Did, is really engrossing. Have you ever seen? You ever watch um uh Shadow of Israfel, the Yogs the Yogs cast series in Minecraft? I've heard you talk about it before. H- have I talked yeah. about that on PCP before? And yeah, how much a I bit, love a Shadow bit, of yeah. Israfel. Man, well. I'll give a brief recap. I won't get too much into it, but it's a All it's right. a long it's a long like let's play series where Simon and Lewis Simon and Lewis Garfunkel. Are, Simon yeah. they're playing they're playing Minecraft, and the, you know, at first like they're just you know they're building a base they're trying to survive they're just they're just playing Minecraft but then they find this like pyramid that they didn't build and there's like a little sort of like game in there where they got to jump across like like blocks to get across lava to find the chest with, with stuff in it and they're like. Oh, I guess, you know, I guess there are other Yogg's cast people, like, put this here. Like, ha what a goof. And then, like, they find, like, someone else logs in, and they don't know who it is. And it's, like, it's someone else. And, and like, he's just, and he starts attacking them. And they're, like, who is this guy? And then the guy runs away, and they follow him, and they find this road. And the road, like, leads to this town that is populated by, like, other players are in there, but they're, like, role-playing as, like, villagers. There's this yeah. guy called Old Peculiar who is like their their <laughs> spirit guide, uh, and uh, and it le- and it's like it's like they're playing D and D in Minecraft. Like these other people are like building all this shit. They're like building stuff in the game for Lewis and and Simon to like find as they yeah, as they dope. play through through the game. Yeah, and like they. It seems like they don't necessarily know what it is that they're going to be like seeing that episode, but like I don't know. Stuff is just being built for them to like play through an experience in in this Minecraft world. It's like the coolest fucking conceit. Of yeah, a, it's of pretty a amazing. It's yeah, pretty amazing dope. that exists. Mm-hmm. You know, and it was documented cool, you know, for all, to see. all this fucking yeah. gay shit, this mining, yeah. and this terrarying. Uh, Devil May Cry Five. The demo finally came out for PS4, and I was playing it nonstop for I Am Games and after I Am Games. And man, what a great time! Uh, yeah, uh, holy, yeah. Holy Could it be shit. better than Kingdom Hearts Three, the greatest action RPG ever made? Uh, by a landslide, <laughs> oh, my oh, dude. Oh boy. <laughs> the combat's oh boy. great and not floaty, and 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 I don't have to like summon like bumper cars to to do damage to things. It was really. Well, <laughs> yeah, but can you meet Woody? Uh, yeah, idiot. Oh <laughs> shit, shit. But you can get can you a be Woody best while you're having. Super can you be fun best friends? Time? I had a Woody, Woody the, the whole pool. time. I'm not surprised. It was fucking great. Um, yeah, um, I'm I... really, I'm really excited about this game coming out. Been waiting forever. Didn't think it was gonna be real. It's real. It's coming next month. And holy shit, it's just, it's everything I ever wanted in a video game. Uh, uh, it's great. You play as Nero. There's like three characters. The demo had Nero. You got the robot arms. You can like punch people from far away. And like, there's tons of cool sword combos. And the boss fight was great. And I beat him without getting hit. And it was awesome. And everybody should watch the stream on I Am Games because it was a fun, great time. It was the happiest I've been in years. Uh, Whoa! Yeah. Tom enjoying a video game. It was. It, question it's a, mark? Question it's mark? It's a rare. Mark? It's a rare thing to happen on I Am Games. So like yeah. everyone in the chat was just like, "This is incredible." Tom's happy. What is going on? And I was that, like, I "That know. is great." I, uh, I downloaded the demo, but obviously with Kingdom Hearts three stuff, I haven't had a chance to play it yet. But I, I will get to it. The interesting thing is like, because like now, now that the demo is out, I didn't, I didn't mm-hmm. want to like spoil too much. But like now that I'm just, yeah. I've got a taste. I'm just absorbing all the content that's been like coming out like for previews. It's of only the like game. a month till it comes out or something, right? Yeah. So it's, I mean, what's there really to yeah. spoil anyways at this point? You know, it's not like there's a story mm-hmm. I give a shit about in the game. Um, right. But there's this new character in this game called V, and he just yes. looks like Kylo Ren, and he's like a total yeah, emo edgelord. <laughs> but I was like looking, I was looking into his gameplay, because I guess there's gameplay trailers and stuff for him out now. And like the whole. Oh, I'm just curious, who in the demo can you play as? Just only, Nero? It's only Nero. Uh, it's okay. just the okay. Nero demo that they had at like Gamescom or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so V is like the interesting thing is he's totally different than any other Devil May Cry like character, because he doesn't mm-hmm. do direct combat. He does like, he summons guys. He has, like, three okay. familiars you can summon, and they do the fighting. Um, hmm. And I was kind of, like, weirded out about that. He's a Pokemon trainer in DMC. Yeah, oh, yeah, cool. exactly. <laughs> He's, like, a really edgy Pokemon trainer, essentially. Um, Sick. And I was watching the trailers, and it was very, like, concerning, because I'm assuming he's going to be, like, a third of the game. And he, like, yeah. moves really slow, and, like, everything's just happening far away from you, and he's, like, a glass cannon, so if you, get hits, like, you get hit too often with him, he just dies because he's weak yeah. and shit. And I was like, this looks 
like not like what I want out of Devil May Cry. That sounds really scary. It just reminded me of Chaos Legion. I don't know if you ever played mm. Chaos Legion for PS2. Oh, nope. I have. Yeah, I, you... I don't know what it was, but I played a bit. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's a game where you basically just summon a bunch of guys. Like that's conceived of the game. You're a summoner, and mm -hmm. they just fight for you, and you kind of just hang back and like watch them play okay <laughs> uh which, which i think i remember seeing chaos legion in game informer magazine yeah yeah mm -hmm. i mean that's where i saw it. and then me and digi played it at one point because you we were considering doing it for i'm games we were both like this is boring uh so that's what i was worried about I was like is a third of my like game of the year just going to be chaos legion but no i yeah. watched i watched the gameplay demonstration and how it works is that by default you have two summons you have griffin and you have shadow shadow's like this mm -hmm. panther guy it's actually like the the weird shadow cats from devil may cry one like devil one may of them one. is yeah. his summon which is fucking okay. sick and then like griffin's a reference to the boss griffin from devil may cry yep. one yep. um and so they replace the gun and the sword button so griffin is far range attacks mm. and uh shadow is close range attacks and you control them in real time all their combat while you're also controlling Ima V and imagine, moving him okay. around. Imagine if it was Griffin from Berserk and Shadow from Hedgehog. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, now, I'm, now I hate the game because it's not that and not that cool. You Let's get the modding community imagine, in on this. Imagine the bromance that would emerge. <laughs> Dude, God. those guys, they have the same mentality and the same energy. They'd get along swimmingly. <laughs> no, I think so. Yeah. Imagine, so, uh, by oh, the yeah, way, yeah, they'd, yeah. Meet, yeah. they'd meet as Sonic, enemies, but they'd fight. Wait. They'd be an even match, and then they'd shake hands at the end. Indeed. Indeed. Guys, Sonic Shadow Guts well, Griffith. Well, we'll Who? never have that game until someone mods it on PC. Let's just, just out let's of curiosity, play. who's the third uh, summon thing? Uh, so y your Devil Trigger replacement is you summon uh, mm. Nightmare, which is like this big oh. golem guy, which is also a boss from Devil May Cry 1. And okay. uh, eventually you can level up. So he, he, he's just like an NPC guy who like, walks around and beats the shit out of everybody. Um, but you can eventually upgrade him so you can ride him and like control him and like do all this fucking crazy shit. Mm, and so yeah. like I guess the way the summons work is they can do damage to enemies but they can't kill them. They just put them in like a stun state and then you have to like teleport in and stab them with your cane. And that's how they die. So it's like a okay. risk reward system of like in order to actually kill things you have to get close. But if you fuck it up like you can get hit like you can die instantly because it's so weak. Shit. So it's like okay. a really interesting like mechanic system and it seems like there's a lot of like complexity to it. And so I was my fears were instantly like assuaged. I'm like this looks great. Like I'm, I'm totally oh, yeah. I'm ready Yeah it sounds pretty fun. Yeah. Um. I fucking, have one guys. Fucking yeah. uh, Sonic and Shadow, Guts <laughs> Griffith. Like which one's which? <laughs> <laughs> My God, I can't tell them apart. <laughs> they look the same. <laughs> like like uh, Sonic. I don't know whether he would be Guts because Sonic's too. I think you know. Shadow. I think that I think Griffin and Guts are both just Shadow. I don't know. I feel like Sonic is the child of light, uh, the prophesized one, who the Antichrist, who is, uh, who you know, the Sonic is Griffith. Whereas, like, Shadow is more like Guts because they both live a truly punished existence in the darkness and are trying to overthrow, you know, the evil uh, light guy that is the <laughs> other one. I don't know. That's the best I got. Uh, I, just, I, just I, should, want, I, I want an elaborate fan fiction uh, retelling of the story of Berserk, but with Doctor Robotnik. Is, Doctor Robotnik is definitely uh, is his name Void? Void, like the leader of the God Hand or is whatever. He like He's the, definitely no. I'm thinking of the Skull Knight. Um, Skull Knight would be like silver or something, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is, is, Skull wait, Knight. He's just, uh, he just he's determined to track down the Iblis is, trigger. Is, is Void like the short like dwarf looking? motherfucker no one of, that's one, one of, of the like God the hands. other ones okay I, i'm the one i'm trying to think of is the one with the brain outside his head he's Wait, like the, the yeah 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 i remember him yeah. uh, who's, maybe, who's the 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 big like the main uh uh first big demon guy that they that keeps oh, coming uh, back that's zod you're talking about zod yeah he's that's probably like, like big... chaos from sonic you know that's just tails. Like a big, like, he's tails. <laughs> oh yeah okay is Zod just like a big minotaur, basically? Yeah, kind of. basically. Yeah. No, he has wings, I think, as well. He does have big... wings. He does have wings. So he's tails. Yeah, tails, tails would be Costco. <laughs> 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 you're right. When you're right, you're right. Uh, I have one more thing I want to say about Jenny the Juvie. All right. Okay. And, that is, and that is that uh, to build to build what's called a slime hutch, which is where you breed slimes and have them mm. produce uh, slime <laughs> balls, yeah. um, you, need a, you need a rare mineral called iridium. 
and mm. I didn't have any until a meteor landed on my farm, and Whoa. I farmed it for iridium, and I got just enough to build a slime hut. So this is destiny. This that, is Gen- I don't think that Jenny's ever happened destiny. in my fucking in my game. I, I thought I it was some a, I thought it was a scripted event, but uh, it certain it Maybe. seems like it's random, and I think I got lucky. Uh, I mean, you can get iridium from later in the game, like in like the more advanced mines. Could this which be I'm, the like, influence? Just getting at. Could this be the influence of Endless War conspiring to At shape the some world? Some say Endless War came from the skies above. Others Indeed. say he came from the ground below. No one truly knows. But so, <laughs> so your guess is as good as mine. We can only speculate. Mm-hmm. One, uh, one quick thing yeah. about Devil May Cry. Um, mm. First game, I understand classic, good, good game. Yep, yep. Second game, shit. Is that the shit one? That is what they say. I rented okay. Devil May Cry 2, and I played as the girl, and it sucks. Same. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I have the shit one, then. I have the second <laughs> one on PS2. I don't okay, know but where... can we acknowledge the fact that Dante looks the sexiest in Devil May Cry 2? By far. Yeah. yeah By uh, far. Hold on. Let me, let me take a look. His, Just his take a fucking look. His outfit from 2 is super fucking cool, and it's very It's super dope. Yeah. DMC 2 Dante. Okay. Uh, this goes in the show notes. That's, he looks so good. I was so, so fucking hyped oh. for that game, seeing those images. I was like, oh, he's I wearing like this. a He's wearing like a vest over his He wears a vest coat. over his coat with a yeah. big old collar. It's, That's, the, it's the best he's pretty ever cool. looked. Yeah. He's very... Yeah. Very, he see it's it's just like everyone's favorite outfit the uh the 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 coats from Organization Thirteen no which, right. ev- which <laughs> everyone Basically. agrees are a masterpiece of design. No. All right, here's here's my my main problem. I was looking at them because I was playing Kingdom Hearts three uh, after I was after that uh, discussion last episode about the coats. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was uh, that they they are varied, and the things I hate the most are the mm. flared arm things. Axel mm. has arms uh, that are just tighter. like they they, they they tight to his um, yep. arm yep. and then he's got gloves and he just looks cool. He is cool. And then Vexen yeah. has like really extremely long th- sleeves that are flared outwards. They look like s- they're stupid. They're they just look like that stupid. like lol, wait, that like that Vexen? kawaii thing of like two long I sleeves going yeah. over your hands. Up right it's now. it's, it's it, it, extremely it's extremely is, long is sleeves Vexen, and the flared sleeves. Is Vexen sleeves. the Earth guy? Is Vexen the No, Earth that's guy? Lexius. Vexen's the ice guy from Chain of Memories, the scientist. He's, uh, he's the the replica man. Oh, okay. he's yeah. got well, like here's... he's got like the punching dagger thing on his arm. I think the problem... yeah, effectively yes, but it's a shield. But yes, with the flared oh, arm okay. thing though, like is that just a limitation of the PS2? Because like they're supposed to be baggy sleeves, but the PS2 can't do real time like you know cloth deformation, so they're just kind of flared out to make it kind of look like they're baggy, but it, it sucks and it looks like. shit. I mean that's fair, and I don't think in Kingdom Hearts Two Final Mix, Vexen had those like overly long sleeves. Huh. Um, I'm, I'm well, having trouble look. finding like a high res image of every member, so I can compare. Well, look, here's kinda, here's here's Axel. Oh, you know what? His Axel, sleeves were a bit Axel long. Axel is good. Axel is alright. Axel all right. looks dope. But everyone He's else gay. seems to be, including Zemnus. Axel's on his way to the gay rave. Vexen is on his yeah, way to that's why science he's symposium. Cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's he owns the leather. You know, all these other people, they're just sort of like sh- hiding away from it. That's a stupid guy. <laughs> <laughs> His hair looks retarded. I hate that character design. Look, we all know Vex is ugly as sin, about? but I don't like him. He looks dumb. What's wrong? His uh, what's face wrong is with... like weirdly skull-like and uh, unflattering in general. He's just—he's well, yeah, the well, ugliest yeah. one for sure. I just don't well, understand yeah, how he has ugly. like no, this think, long hair, Lex... but it's still—it looks like it's—he like he has long hair, but he like gelled it around his forehead to go up That's, first yeah. and then I, come I down. I think Lexius which is, is the. I think Lexius is the ugliest one. I don't like his haircut. He looks right, like guys. he like yeah, okay, he, yeah, he gels it and stuff. Guys, guys. Um... Mm-hmm. But but wait but, but I like I like Vexen because his his like his looks specifically like a robe. He's like a scientist, and his coat looks the most like a robe, as opposed to like a, a coat or a jacket. I suppose like, that's fair. I like yeah. that. I I just don't like the flares. But uh, more importantly, uh, Organization Thirteen, all the members. Which mm. ones are Sonics? Which ones are Shadows? <laughs> oh they're, my god! They're basically Roxas, all shadows. Ro- Roxas is a Sonic, and the rest are all shadows. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I, I'm gonna say oh, all you know of what? Them no, Larzine. Big, big I think I think Larzine's got to be a, a Sonic. All of them. She's speedy as fuck. Does Larzine use light or lightning? She's the lightning. She's the lightning yeah. one. Yeah. Or at Roxas. Larzine. Is the light one. Oh. You know, no, 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 wait, Demix. Demix plays his sitar and is a canonical radical dude. He's got to be a Sonic too. Demix <laughs> yeah. For sure. <laughs> Luxine looks very strange in Kingdom Hearts 3. You think so? I mean, I just think the the aesthetic, like the art design, is just rather unflattering to every single character. Uh, it's, it, may be, it may be just that it's unflattering in such high definition. 
because look at look at her look at her boobies. Look at how uh, weirdly they, they, they do go. look weirdly squished and uncomfortable. Ooh, they look like pecs. They look like pecs. Ooh, you know, that is unfortunate. It's it's Ooh. you know why it is. Look, like, look how broad her shoulders are. Right, it's like, the broad is, shoulders yeah. because like it her she has that V shaped torso of like a that, jacked dude. That is a and that, that is, is not an attractive build that she has. Right no, there. no, 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 no. That's oof. Despicable. Yeah, yeah. It's like her waist is really tiny, but like her shoulders are so wide. Dude, maybe it's just, it, it, her like her shoulder. Like she's got that tapered like triangle shape, right? And like her arms, because uh, maybe like maybe it's just the robe, but it's, like her arms look really thick. It's not like, her though, arms because are, like, like as her, thick arms, as her waist. Her arms are coming out from like it, it's not like she has like big shoulder pads or something. Her arms are coming out from that area. So yeah, no, you're right. You're right. She just this is has an illusion disgustingly, uh, un- inhumanly broad shoulders, and uh, I'm repulsed. Yeah. Okay, you're right, guys, but let's get off this whole visual discussion because this is not to the strengths of our audio show here. Okay, uh, fair despite enough. Despite it being enough. in the show notes. Uh, hey, on the subject of Kingdom Hearts 3, I have beaten it. I have beaten it, and that was cool. Um, and I'm going to be making a video about it shortly, but I thought it'd be fun. This is this is seeing people's reaction to Kingdom Hearts 3 as such a, a landmark release from a formerly great company like Square Enix, or, or Square, I suppose, uh, whatever, Square Enix produced Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, so I guess it's the greatest company that ever lived. Um, but uh, listen to my boy Leffen. I read this on my stream yesterday. Leffen, uh, who is basically <coughs> the sixth god of Melee. He's, he's the god slayer, whatever. Yeah. So this is like one of the one of the big guys, competitive uh, Smash and whatnot. Listen to... Okay, so he played Kingdom Hearts 3, all right? He has played none of the other games. <laughs> Just listen to his comment from February 8th on his Wait, experience where, of... where was this y- comment? Uh, on Twitter. This is on Twitter. Oh, okay. At TSM underscore Leffen. Okay, there you go. All right, listen to this. Here we go. <clears throat> Kingdom Hearts 3 is an actual 3 out of 10 game. <laughs> I okay. haven't played the prior games, but honestly, I'm happy I didn't because waiting 13 years for a story and gameplay this garbage would have fucking ended me. <laughs> <laughs> Graphics, dialogue, combat, it's all shit. Cutscenes and VA, Shit. Cost seventy dollars. LMFAO. Um, <laughs> I mean, he's on point. He's okay. Like guys like you, Tom. I I get it. And like Dunky made a video that I have gone out of my way to not watch because I don't want to watch it till I made my first video. Uh, where a, I, he like Leffen says later, like lol, Dunky agrees with me. So I I'm gathering that like to people who have not played like every game in this, I did play all of them, and even I don't like it. Um, in mm. it, it, I, 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 well, whatever. I don't want to get into it too much here, but it's just like I, I, I certainly understand well, here's why thing, people Nate, find the and, and as the someone story. who's played all the games yeah. and has finished three, maybe you'll agree with me. I just feel like this game is for the fans who are knee deep in it, and that's it. Like I, it doesn't seem, it doesn't seem like mm. the narrative is even like comprehensible unless you're like a scholar like yourself. And I think the gameplay they... is just. Mm. I don't know. I don't think they, the game oh, okay. is good, like, but I think you can deal you, with it because like you're just emotionally invested at that point, and you want to slog through. That's it. true. And the, the fact of the matter is, while I know the lore, I am no longer emotionally invested. And uh, you know what? I'm emotionally invested with everything that happened up to Kingdom Hearts two and a little bit beyond. But everything that happened beyond that, Dream Drop Distance, uh, the mobile game, uh, and a bunch of stuff after that, I just don't care about, and is totally boring and uninteresting. I'm I'm aware of what's happening, but I like have no emotional attachment. I like Aqua a little bit. I like Shion a little bit. Of course, I like Roxas and those guys. Uh, but beyond that, there's like what was, was, Leffen's comment here makes a hundred percent sense to me. For mm-hmm. even I would happily say the cutscenes are directed like dog shit. You don't, and this is what babbles me the most. No matter how bad your uh, like lore is, no matter how convoluted or fucked up the actual narrative has become, at no point do you have to direct your cutscenes like garbage. Sure. They did that in addition, and <laughs> I just don't know why they did that. I guess because it's a baby game and they felt they needed to, like, give us, like, five seconds in between characters speaking so we could, like, yeah. catch up with our retarded slow brains. It's, I don't it's, know. It's strange that it took so long for this game to come out and they didn't anticipate that the fan base had also grown about, about the same amount of years in that time span. I was 15 when I played Kingdom Hearts 2 and fell in love with it 
at the first time, and now I am 28, and God. that is a big Unreal. fucking difference. You know what? Uh, it's, yeah. I know we were, we were making this comparison for the lulls, but, like, seriously, yeah. the cutscenes in Kingdom Hearts 3, from what little I've seen, feel like something out of Sonic Adventure 1, where it's just, like, really stilted dialogue and odd pauses. I don't know if, you've, you've, I mean, if you're familiar <laughs> enough with that game to know what I'm talking yeah. about. I mean, Kingdom Hearts 1 also had that... So and Kingdom Hearts too, like it's always it's, been you the know, thing. But like back in the day, that would have been more acceptable. Absolutely true. Plus, it was a relative. I mean, it wasn't an early PS2 game, but like you know, it, it was the PS2 era. We were all more accepting of those sorts of things. And it's just, was this a stylistic choice to keep the kind of like pacing of like the old games? I mean, this is the thing that I give like I want I criticize the game for. They there is a concerted effort in terms of like gameplay. They have absolutely sacrificed. Like, um, like responsiveness of controls and like tight gaminess, something that I'm sure Devil May Cry Five, hopefully I haven't actually played it, has not done. Oh, it's great. Um, in K- well, great. But like, the, the, here's just one example. When you turn around, I know I talked about this before. When you turn around in Kingdom Hearts Three, Sword does a big whole like walk around step 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 animation. It's not just an instant boom, character flipped, facing the other direction, and that. That function has actually made it very hard to stand in particular places on ledges to do some of the things I was trying to do with, like, Lucky Emblem pictures and stuff. And it's, like, so all this sacrificing for realism, and yet the cutscenes are just dog shit uh, in terms of, like, editing. I don't know. I could I could improve every cutscene in the game if you just gave it to me to edit them down to just the dialogue and cut out the space. It's very, and it's very it's weird. Bizarre. I mean, I didn't get very far into it, obviously, because, like, I was telling you, yeah, I man. think yesterday, Nate, we were talking about how should, I want to play everything You should make a Kingdom still. Hearts story abridged. You should just, like, oh my make God. a shortened version that is not... That the is fan better. edit. Yeah. I mean, people... Oh, you mean, like, take the actual cutscenes and, like... Yeah, like, like splice it all together, edit it to be more bearable. That is not a bad idea. You um, probably get a lot and you know of what? from that. Some people have done things where, like, there's this guy, I forget his name. Someone has taken, like, every cutscene in all of Kingdom Hearts and, like, strung them together in a, like, chronological sequence. Yeah, to make, like, Kingdom Hearts the movie. Is that, is that, like, it, is that like an yeah. autism test? If you make it through that, like, you're certified autistic? I mean, even I haven't made it through, like, every single piece of, like, the, the Unchained Key, like, the mobile game stuff. I'm, I'm up to date on everything that matters, but, like... Is that, is that the Unchained Key or the Unchained Key? This is actually the Unchained Key. I yeah, thought right. so. I <laughs> yes, thought it might indeed. be. <laughs> um, they also call it Unchained Cross, but whatever. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, an abridged thing would serve the world greatly. Um, I mean, you know, you got Barry Kramer with his videos to summarize the story, but, I mean, he doesn't talk about the mobile game, at least not very much. You know what? Whatever. Who cares? Uh, that's all I wanted to say. I, <laughs> uh, and you know what? Despite everything I'm saying here to be critical, I absolutely do not hate Kingdom Hearts 3 and did have a good time overall and am excited to do the end game content, like get the Ultima weapon and whatnot. So, you know, it's not a not a shit game or anything, but I'm going to get into my details in my Weagua, hopefully coming up either before this comes out or maybe a couple days after. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, yeah, buddy. Hey, you know, since this mm. is like a gaming-themed episode, I may as well yeah. like continue that. Uh, ben, you did a whole big gaming I, very yeah. recently. I was a you huge talking about. Gaming. I was I was talking <laughs> about. Uh, I was gonna say like speaking of streaming before, but then we got off the topic. Yeah, yesterday I did my twenty-four hour continuous stream. Fucking. Uh, to legend. celebrate hitting a thousand followers on uh Twitch.tv slash Saint Comics. How'd it go? And, uh, Hippo, you you showed up and raided me. Uh, Nate, mm. you showed up and raided me after a minor a minor kerfuffle. But it was I ra- I tried to raid someone called Ben Saint, but apparently think, there's I another Ben Saint. I don't think there is a wait. Is there someone called Ben yeah, Saint? Yeah, it brought me to a different page. I think when I did it. Wait, really? Okay, I think so. Well, then when you raided, wouldn't it have like okay? Because you eventually did raid me, and I, like you know, like with a party yeah. of like forty or something. Yeah. And yes. so, I, if you had raided someone else, I would have thought that all your follow or all the people watching would have gone there, and you wouldn't have been able to I, raid anymore. You know, I'm not an expert. It was my first time ever raiding. I think they have to like opt into the raid uh, or oh, something. Because yeah. I, I saw or, the or number maybe like it's because going they weren't up. Act also, I'm 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 creeped out that there's someone called ben saint on twitch <laughs> i don't like that yeah i know and i'm I know. saint comics with an x Indeed. um but uh yeah that was cool um it was really great uh, i was mm-hmm. really tired okay so i had s- decided to do a 24-hour maple story stream for the yep. meme yep. because maple story is a horrible korean grind fest <laughs> and i was it's like what's, fuck, what's the dude. what's the worst game that i could play for 24 hours <laughs> i'll do that 
Um, <laughs> and um, so that, I don't know, I made it like 10 hours. I made it like 10 hours of MapleStory. And then the game crashed and I couldn't bear it anymore. So I didn't <laughs> no. start it. I didn't start it up again. A divine mercy given to you. There, there was a guy, there was a guy in the stream, Zad, who um, I, is. He, yeah, I know he, Zad. Yeah, he came, he, he had like thousands of hours logged in maple story oh, nice. and like he he showed up as his like one of his characters and like was showed up to m- the maps hey. I was on and like cast spells to make more like enemies spawn so i could grind faster oh that's nice it was pretty nice yeah he also advised me apparently one of the servers is for like it's like makes it easier to level and stuff it's called oh, the, like okay. the reboot server i think or something like that mm, so mm. you know i had i had some help but uh, you know, ten hours in, I was like, I can't do it. It's not. It was not a fun game to watch be streamed. So Did you get to the class up at all? Did you do any of that business? I got to level sixty, and but I, I didn't learn. get like a class up. I just got like a new like like folder, or I just got like a new page of like skills to start leveling. Oh, also, I played okay. one of these new classes that is not a class. It's just like a character. Okay, well, I'm not familiar name, with that at all. Yeah, mine's name was Kadina or something, and he was like a an urban like chain warrior from like some like gang city, which oh, is pretty cool, okay. I guess. Yeah, but yeah, like back in the day, you know, it was like you know, archer, warrior, thief. Yeah. Uh, this was I so I booted this up and I see like you could be Kadina, a street smart man warrior. You could be. Oh, I hate you that. You could be. <laughs> you could be Ify or whatever. A a fucking like ice wizard wizard. Uh, man with hair yeah and uh so i was like boy Ma- maple story sure has changed in the like 12 years since the last time i played it yep um yep anyway so i switched to uh i switched to uh uh return of the Obra Dinn, which my friend uh Ooh. john got for me that have you played really that cool i played the demo of it when it came out like a couple years ago i and played it sick and it played sick and i really liked the visual aesthetic I spent like twelve hours playing Oberdin. I played the entire game. I solved every 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 character's fate. I found. I got the good ending. I got hundred percented it. Um, right in the nick. Of, well, I went like slightly over twenty four hours because I just wanted to finish it and get the good ending. Um, and that was really fun. It was a way it proved to be a way more interesting game to stream. I thought anyway. Like I was yeah. like ten hours into Maple Story, I was dying. My brain was shutting off. I was suffering. And then I started Oberdin, and Oberdin engaged my various brain lobes to a to a degree <laughs> that like it was not as painful to continue. <laughs> Thank after God. That. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about like how, like how to to do a twenty four hour stream up with a single game, and not kill yourself. Like I, how I had... how like what sort of games like could I play that would 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 work for that? I'm sure because in, in the past I did a I did a stream of of. Uh, hollow knight that just ended up going for 17 hours like by accident um and so that was a pretty i could have probably could have done hollow knight for 24 hours and it wouldn't have been wouldn't have been too bad i was gonna say any game with satisfying progression that keeps like rewarding you with like new stuff to find and do probably wouldn't be terrible yeah Yeah. um Mm -hmm. so like because i had done that 17 hour hollow knight stream i knew that 24 hours was was doable and it'd be fine uh, it was really fun, and I gained, like, uh, you know, a bunch more followers. Got a bunch of people subscribed. A lot of people donated, because they were like, damn, 24 hours? Nice job. Here's here's a here's a tip. And I was like, All right, yeah. sick. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was an, it was an event. Getting paid oh, for and, the uh, pain. and AJ Shoop wrote a song. Oh, I uh, wanted to play that. It wasn't loading on my fucking phone before. Uh, it, I, I tweeted it after the stream. AJ Shoop wrote a song that is just about, how, like, Ben Saint has to a thousand followers today, and it's really good. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's great. That's he, he he made the whole thing in like in like a couple hours, like while the stream was going. Oh, he was just dope. like, "I will be back. I will start a song right now and come back with a fully realized piece of music." And he did. What a legend! Yeah. You know, I looked at my follow account, and I somehow have more than a thousand already, and mm. I don't know how because I get like like You've been maximum for a long time. 20, 20 viewers per stream when I stream. Yeah, I you get stream all the time though. I, I don't know. Maybe I get. I, I mean, because the stream went on for so long, I wasn't getting like my huge numbers. I get. I'll get like fifty to sixty on a normal stream. Uh, this time I was averaging like forty ish or so throughout the whole like twenty four hours. I really. I am very envious of you, Nate. That you're getting. That you are getting numbers that are reaching the point where you could uh, hit partner. I'm not there. I'm yet. doing it. I'm finally there. I just. It's just I don't stream enough to you fucking gotta, actually you be, be partner. You got to be getting like seventy five. Seventy five is That's the right. is the average number you want to hit. And I'm like probably like fifty or something. 
My, my, uh, you know, even while I was doing the Pokemon, uh, thing, like, my numbers were not at a level that were above that, but it was, like, the finale of the Pokemon thing was a big event that a lot of people came out for, and then ever yeah. since then, it's been, like, I don't know if, it, I'm curious if it's due to the goodwill generated by how dope the finale was, or if it was just that people are, are like, they're glad we're not doing Pokemon anymore, so they're actually <laughs> willing to watch. I do uh, not know which yeah. it is. <laughs> In any case, I'm definitely going to do another fucking uh, Nuzlocke at some point. So get ready, people. Heart Gold. It's coming one of these yeah. days. Yeah, that would be sick. The best one. game ever made of Pokemon. Oh, my best. God. Yeah, Hippo, you got, the, you got almost 1,300. I didn't realize. Damn. Damn. I, don't even, I don't even know how. I, I, I guess maybe from the couple times I mentioned it on Hippocrit, when it was like the maybe. Heroes of Might and Magic streams, Ooh, and I did a couple of those. Bit. That's possible. Maybe, yeah. Hey, do you guys want to hear about my tale of epic agony and pain that I experienced the other yeah. day? Yeah, it was it was pretty awesome. dope. Okay, so there's this is this is a uh, there's a hilarious ending to this, but okay, so so on uh, like Friday morning at like five a.m., I wake up with a horrible pain in my gut uh, because the previous night on Thursday I had done like a seven or eight hour gauntlet finishing Kingdom Hearts three. Um, getting all the way from like the last world being that to all the end game stuff, which does take an eternity. So I finally beat the game at the end. And, and while I was doing my epic gamer sesh, I thought I'd be a really healthy boy. So I had a gigantic bag of carrots in front of me. So I was just <laughs> eating those carrots, like little baby carrots, but there were so many. And I ate the entire bag over the course of several hours. Uh -oh. um, so I did that and there's, they're very fibrous, these carrots, don't you know? But they, they go down mm. real smooth. So I just mm. chowed down. Um, so, wait, so wait, were these raw carrots? These were, yeah, raw baby Ugh. carrots. One, I hate carrots. I, hate I like them. What carrots. can I say? I like them like cooked in a soup, maybe. Like, sure, but, sure. But like eating them raw, ugh, they're like my least favorite vegetable. Fair enough. I, I don't know. I like it way more than something like, um, I, I, I don't know. I actually kind of like potato. most vegetables. I don't I like, do like, I do like a lot of turnips? vegetables, but carrots aren't one of them. Well, okay. Fair enough. Anyway. I have, um, they're my, they're my, they're my kryptonite. Fair enough. So I uh, uh, wake up the next morning at like 5 a.m., pain, horrible, sucks, try to shit, can't. I'm like, okay, whatever, oh. go back to sleep. Uh, and it, it's, it's, a, it's a pressure, you know? A lower oh. gut pressure is Don't building. You, and it, doesn't yeah. fiber, like, make you shit better? Okay, but I, I think more fiber in your diet, like, gives you more poop, which is good for moving things through your digestive system and just generally is good for you. It, it's literally bulk that you can't digest yeah. and just gives you more to shit, and that's, like, good for you, as I understand yeah. it. Huh. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you... I think when you in, just insoluble eat... Insoluble fiber. Exactly. But but it is insoluble, and I think I just ate so much so fast that it just created a plug uh. that just stuck up my guts, and nothing was moving. I mean, <laughs> I couldn't fart. I couldn't shit. I was, oh I was trying God. to belch to get things to come up the other way. It was not happening. Um... I don't know. I probably should have tried to puke a little more, but okay, we're just yeah, getting started sounds here. Sounds like a fate <laughs> worse than death. Well, if it's in your guts Indeed. already, then puking won't do anything, right? Uh, do, do you do That's the same I mean, thing maybe. When, when, when you're like stuffed up? Do you do the same thing where you like you can feel it on in your gut and you sort of like squish it like yeah. as hard as you can with your hands I, and like yes. punch it? I did try to do that <laughs> at punch first. It. I mean, I, I literally did that, and I thought that I should maybe try to go for a run. Um, to like shake it loose, which I was too much of a pussy. I, I let the pain beat me down oh. and I didn't go do that. Uh, I, sh I probably would have been better off if I did. Cause okay, here's what happened. So I, I wake up, I'm in pain. I kind of, I, you know, I'm at, like, I'm supposed to be at work. I'm like, guys, I'm in a lot of pain. I'm going to, I'm going to come back later. So I'm out. I, I eventually, I feel a little better as the day goes on. Um, and here's where I make a tragic mistake. Um, so during like the morning meeting at work or whatever, like, I, for some reason, I come to the conclusion, despite knowing about this whole carrot thing and feeling in horrible pain all morning, it has started to abate. So I say to Michelle, Michelle, I, I've got it. I think what this might just be is, so, so carrots aren't super satisfying. I think these are just hunger pains. Oh. So what I need to do is just oh. eat tons of food really fast you and know, that will cure this Sometimes pain. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes you don't know what a feeling is. Or That's, means. It's true. It's absolutely true. And I, I <laughs> incorrectly deduced that this was actually secret hunger pains. Mm. So we order, I got a, a gigantic, fully loaded tuna sub from Subway. Um, and I, like, cause I am quite hungry. So I down that thing in like 30 seconds. And all of a sudden the pressure is back no, on no. worse than it was by a significant amount before. And from then on, 
it's something like like a 12 hour gauntlet of me writhing on the ground like in my bed just attempting to shake my ass loose uh but nothing is happening <laughs> nothing is budging nothing is moving in any way and i'm michelle's in the other room enjoying the nice snowy day while i'm writhing just going oh <laughs> uh, uh, I'm literally doing this the entire day. Um, so at at around it, it's it, it's at 10 p.m. after all the um, like the the urgent care centers have closed. So all that's left is the ER. And I, I at this point I've hit my breaking point. I'm getting the shakes. I'm getting the sweats. And I'm not sure how much longer I can last just enduring this. I was hoping it would just go away, but I'm like Michelle, I need to go to the hospital. Let's go. Uh, really? I'm gonna oh, die. No. I am. God I mean, damn. the only it, not that it felt like like actual death. It was just pain of a. I would say it was like a five or six out of ten. But for an entire day, I just was yeah. like, my HP bar has to be low at this point, <laughs> and mm -hmm. I'm yeah. running low on few. I don't have any potions, so yeah. we get to the ER, and so we're there. They do they sign me in. I do my blood work. I'm there for a total of five hours Ooh. before the doctor actually sees yeah. me at like two a.m. or whatever. Christ. It was. I mean, yeah. they that's said it was particularly every bad time day. I go to the hospital. It's always forever. I mean, that's why you go to urgent care. Don't go to the ER, people. Just unless it's a true emergency, then they will prioritize the, you. The life hack. Like the this. life hack is you have to call an ambulance because then they'll rush you in immediately. But that costs Don't so much you more have money, to pay dude. For that? Yeah. Some sometimes sacrifices have to be made. How, uh, yeah. How I mean, much hell, is five if you, hours if you need it. You? I mean, that's a good question. I lost my entire day. Um, but uh, so so the point is, I said by the okay, this is the thing. When I get to the hospital, I'm in the worst pain of all. Like, it's, it hasn't abated at all. It's, it's sharp. It's constant. The pressure, I feel like I'm going to blow, and I'm worried that my intestines will rupture. Uh, and just nothing's moving. Um, Jesus Christ. Yes. And so it was during that five-hour period, about, about four hours into it, as I've gone in, they, did, they took my blood. They fucking, I don't know, they took my name, and they asked me a bunch of questions and shit. As I'm finally getting close to seeing the doctor, I go to the bathroom, and praise God Almighty, <laughs> there is some movement. There is some movement. I do a bit of a shit, and so, there is some gaseous so release. So, so it didn't have anything. You, they didn't do anything for you at the hospital. They literally did nothing. No, yeah. things took so long that nothing happened. That the problem and just resolved itself. While it you resolved were itself. Now I, yeah. I haven't gotten any kind of like bill yet. Oh, I mean, no. I, I have insurance, so like, I, 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 it's probably gonna be something. I imagine, but like, I don't know. I was, I was, I was happy be to much. be there just to feel like, okay, no, if I collapse here, I yeah. will not die. So that's if you, good. If, yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll give me emergency surgery if needed. Indeed. Or whatever. If needed, yeah. if necessary. Well, so, a big but it did of not help. Out of your guts. <laughs> Indeed, exactly. Um, but I mean, so by the time I finally saw the doctor, like the pressure was down from like, uh, like, I don't know, like 90% intolerable just cause it going on so long to that was like 10% and it was just feeling way fucking better. Um, and so whatever, they like, give me like a, a medicine to like help with like, um, fucking, uh, a laxative or whatever, just to help in general. But by this point, this, the problem had basically fixed itself. So I, I go home and I'm feeling fine. Things are, things are Okay. Uh, so, but, but yesterday, yesterday, this is the, this is the amazing part. I messaged Digi, uh, and we do the Shield Hero podcast, and Digi is just like, um, so Nate, I heard you were sick. What, like, what happened? And I tell him that whole story, and he's like, dude, that exact same thing happened to me, like, one month ago or whatever, and I wrote a song about it, and it's wait, wait, here, wait. linked in this? the show notes. Who was, who was this? <laughs> Digi, Digi Bro MLP, oh, wrote oh. a song about the exact same experience that he experienced. It's called Boiling Guts. Go listen to it. It's the <laughs> banger of the century. This is it, it, it completely encapsulates artistically <laughs> the experience that I went through, and Digi huh. apparently did as well. Just listen to that. Uh, um, Ten pound brick in my colon. Man, uh, man imagine when it's going to drop, going to part the ocean. But oh shit, there's no shit coming out. Rub this tummy down. Squeeze me out like some cheese whiz. Feeling like a geek kid sitting here an hour. Going both before and after the shower. Fist clench going Super Saiyan trying to power. And uh, it just goes on. It just goes on. This is everything well, that I felt. Beautiful. And, uh, wow. uh, it was incredible. Oh. And that reminds me, there was one other facet I almost forgot about this hospital experience, which was while we were there, there was a, uh, there was a family with a bunch of young kids. They were just like listening to loud, like YouTube auto recommended playlist music. Uh, and that was fine. But then all of a sudden, um, one song, one fateful song comes on and it's, 
I am not afraid of puppeteers. It just this like comes on like the radio. No, well, they they are playing on their iPad loudly, uh, like for all to hear. No shame. There's no attempt to you know not annoy everybody else. And then they finally get to that triumphant chorus as it keeps going. Discard. I'm howling at the moon. <laughs> wait, wait, sleeping wait, wait. in the middle on a Sunday afternoon. Nate, Nate was they this did before it. or after? This is pre or post shit. This was while I was in my most intense okay. agony. So was this like Discord a fever dream? Were you like afraid that ER, you were actually at like 1 like a.m. at night? I'm writhing. I think he hallucinated. I think he hallucinated. <laughs> this, I don't, this sounds like a hallucination. This vouch doesn't for seem me. Real. It, it was, was sympathy, sympathy hallucinations. <laughs> oh Vicarious. My God. And uh, and so that's that's the complete saga. Um, I'm you fine should, now. Thanks for asking. T-Bap. They you should, obviously you were brony. You should be like, you guys are gonna watch T-Bap. It's <laughs> Subscribe to T-Bap, guys. <laughs> like, I, I could imagine in your head, you'd be yeah. like, oh yeah, I'm gonna howl at the moon just <laughs> five minutes. I'd been howling at the moon all night. Um, so there you go. It was it was interesting. It was probably the worst pain I felt all day in my life. Um, oh, and I almost forgot, on the way in, as I'm stumbling in, like, writhing in agony, Michelle's, like, helping me get inside, there's just, like, some lady who's just like, excuse me, y'all, can y'all spare some change? Like, I gotta, I gotta get the bus in a couple, I gotta get a taxi to get home. Like, to me, as I'm dying of agony, stumbling into this ER at, like, I guess at that point it was, like, 11 p.m. or something. Um, needless Definitely to say, good, did not. Good place to find really sympathetic souls yeah, no people kidding. going to, into the hospital, in, like, with medical problems. Indeed. Indeed. Um, yeah. okay. But there you go. There's the complete saga. Um, it was fun. Legendary. It was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Good time. good time. How would you, how would you rate the experience? I had a great time. I, had, <laughs> it was, you know, pretty fun. And I mean, it was a, better than, yeah. I don't know, being, <laughs> I don't know, something gay, worse, gay. I guess. Yeah, better than being gay. gay. They got that gay gene out of me. The, the surgery was a success, everybody. <laughs> I'm free at last. Uh, oh, fuck. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, hot, hot dog. Well, yep. what's next on the docket? Um, we got, um, we got, we got I'm some, out. We got I'm some tapped. art boys here. I want to talk about uh, the greatest item I've purchased in a long time, which is my new mm. iPad. Holy fuck. Yeah. Uh, I bought this on the recommendation of my sister, who is a professional user experience designer. She's, she's real... Mm. She makes like real money, has like real things. Uh, great, dope. <laughs> so, so she she's like she. We, we meet up sometimes at Starbucks because like she gets the traffic to get back to where she like to do uh, a quick lives. Q and A at Starbucks. Yeah, a quick, a quick Q and A, <laughs> yeah. and we'll just hang oh, out. Uh -huh. And uh, she's like, you got You got to check out this iPad. I just got it recently, and it's like changed my life. I'm like, really? And she she got the base like cheap iPad and the Apple Pencil. She's like, it's so much better to draw on than anything. And I'm like. That's, that's that's fucking bullshit. No way. Mm -hmm. um, and I tried it, and it was like legitimately great. And I was like, all right, all right, this is pretty cool. Because uh, I was thinking about trying to get back into drawing, just to, like post stuff on Twitter and shit in between, sure. like working on wasn't, games. Wasn't and 3D. wasn't your plan? Wasn't the plan to like promote Azumi by doing a bunch of art right. for it for like a month there? Yeah. And uh, and I I I have like you know my my little tablet I have left from like all the stuff I had from Rebel Pixels, and it's just not that great. It's fine to draw on, but it's not great, you know? It's not like a Wacom Cintiq or anything. Uh, so I was like, well, this mm -hmm. seems cool. I'll give it a shot. And I bought it, and it legitimately is, like, the best drawing device I've ever used. Like, because, like, the weird thing is that, I mean, Ben, you, you, you and Gib, you've used Wacom devices before. You know how they have, like, yeah. Yeah. the hover. So, like, you're over the screen or you're over the tablet, and, like, it shows the cursor, and you can hover mm -hmm. the pen around. This ha doesn't have hover, so I thought that would be really mm. weird to know where I place the pen to, like, close yeah. lines and stuff. But you don't need it. It's so accurate. It just feels like using an actual pencil. Um, it's incredible. Wow. So and then, wow. there's this app called Procreate, uh, which is, like, apparently, despite having a terrible name that sounds like, you know, reproduction, uh, <laughs> like, 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 it's replaced, like, Wacom, Cintiqs, and, like, in, like, professional artists. Like, it's, like, the number one thing that, like, professionals use to draw now, apparently. And so I'm using hmm. it, and it's, the, the, the stabilizer built in is incredible. The brush engine is amazing. The accuracy is supreme. And it's, like, I got this whole setup, like, the pencil, the iPad with 128 gigs of storage, a cover, and a keyboard for, like, 400 <laughs> bucks. And it blows away everything anything i've ever used before it's like the best drawing device in the world except for probably the more expensive ipads it costs like four times as much but like it's insanely good 
how how big is how big is the screen? The screen is ten inches, so this is a very small one. But I'm finding that it's mm-hmm. for for me, it's fine. I have no problem with the size. Because yeah. here's the interesting thing: before I've never like used like rot- rotating the canvas or anything, because like usually to do that in Photoshop or Clip Studio is like a, you have to drag a slider and it's really annoying. And none of the pen mm-hmm. displays I've ever used have multi touch because it's like really expensive. You got to spend like three grand on a Cintiq for that. Since this mm-hmm. has multi touch, it's super easy to just zoom in, rotate the canvas really easy, and always have your pencil like like the stroke angle being right and aligned with your wrist because it's so easy to do. So I'm rotating my canvas yeah. now constantly. I mean, I, ro- I rotate my canvas constantly. I've never done that before because it was just too much of a hassle. Oh. So like, th- it's oh, it's God. this is so fucking transformative. Like the, the quality yeah. and the ease of use <laughs> and the multi-touch. Um, I'm ch- I'm a changed man. This has changed my life, and I'm gonna evangelize it. Everybody should get an iPad to draw on. It's better I, than anything. Uh, I mean, I've I've pretty much fully transitioned. I don't I don't eat my my Wacom bamboo, which I held, I had the Cintiq that Arthurmus gave me for like a year, and I hardly used it because I was just accustomed to my Wacom bamboo, fifty dollars piece of shit, uh, like six inch like t- like surface area. But it finally, it was like broke, like it kept like disconnecting and reconnecting, like the connector was spotty, and like I couldn't keep using it. So I pretty much completely transitioned to the uh, the Cintiq, and uh, it's been painless and i feel dumb that i didn't do it earlier like it's not that it does anything that i couldn't do before but like i don't know i found i found that when i made the leap and i finally just like took took the cintiq and put it like front and center on my desk like this is what i use now like this is my main monitor i found that it was like easier to draw the creature comforts are just like yeah you don't really expect them to be that much better until you kind of get used to it and then going back you're just like oh oh what 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 the, the what one thing, ape I used psycho- to be. psychologically having my Wacom as my main monitor just like made me like just like inclined me to draw more readily, you know? Yeah, definitely. Good good stuff. I good draw stuff. way more now cuz it's so easy to just like cuz like there's no booting up an app or, or like booting up the computer or anything. I just like open the cover, yeah. it's on. I you use Touch ID to log in, the app's right there and I just go and it feels great and I love it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's amazing, and everybody should should buy it. I'm 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 gonna praise it from the rooftops. It's totally worth it. Uh, I I'll think about it. I, how much I, how much was it? Um, well, I got this on there. The the thing is, like, I was kind of dumb because I know they're gonna replace this model that I bought with a new one in like two months. But that does mean it's mm-hmm. like on sale everywhere right now. So I got it for a hundred dollars off, brand new. Uh, so it was three hundred dollars for the iPad. The pencil I got for okay. seventy. And then I just also got a cover to uh, protect the screen. But uh, altogether, it was okay. like less than 400 bucks, And uh, and you could get it cheaper because I got the 128 gig model, which I didn't even really need. You can get a 32 gig one for even cheaper. So like $270 gets you the iPad, the pencil you need. That's another like 50 to 70 if you get it online. And you're good to go. I, and it's totally worth it. I have um, my mom's old iPad. And I've been, try- I've, I've been thinking like trying to use it for you know, for my own purposes, but it's sort of, like, locked into her account. Ooh. I don't know how to, like, factory reset it. Yeah. But if I could figure out how to do that, um, I could buy the pencil, maybe. Well... I don't know. I, this is a pretty old iPad. Yeah, the problem is you have to get either the sixth generation, like, the current iPad, uh, the base iPad, or the iPad Pro. Those are the only ones that work with the pencil. Uh-huh. The older ones don't, which sucks, because I had an older iPad as well. Because I, I had an iPad mini back in, like, 2013. I used it to... Re- I got the one with LTE to replace my phone, because I just... I, my phone broke, and I wanted an iPad anyway, so I just, like, got an app that let you make phone calls and just use that for everything. So I was, like, this weirdo with this big iPad walking around, and that was my phone. <laughs> and I have a little headset if I need to talk to people. Um, Man, some people do that. It's the most awkward thing to see i mean i never i made phone calls like even then like never so i was just texting and it was fine it's a bigger screen to have more text on the screen um and i was (laughs) using that for everything until verizon uh like blocked my phone app because they're like you need to buy a phone plan to use this i'm like yeah uh so that was the end of that but i I was even using it for art back then but there was no apple pencil so like the the support was like kind of shitty and you kind of just like finger paint on it it was weird um which was not great. So that's why, like, when the the Apple Pencil and shit came out, I'm like, ah, I don't know. I've tried this whole iPad drawing thing before. I'm not convinced. But then I'm, I'm a believer now. I'm on, I'm on it hardcore. Everybody should do it. It's great. Hoo-wee! Right, I'm boys. convinced. 
Yeah. If right. only I had well, any knowledge of drawing whatsoever. Well, it's never too late to start. Here's I refuse. what you need to know about drawing. Drawing is the act of making a mark on the world. Drawing in the dirt, you're an artiste. Hmm. What if I draw, you know, in video footage with editing? <laughs> no, it's the one. If you thing draw, that if count. you draw your mouse across the screen, that's art. <laughs> if you draw I'm doing the it right curtains, now, you're at light pushing, speed. you're moving the curtains, you're creating light. Uh, you're an artist. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw, draw my draw gun and fucking blow your yeah. face off. That's fair. Thanks, Tom. Go, go to, go to Quick Draw, the new channel, the new. Uh, I don't even know about Quick Draw. No one people. told me about it. I'm so yeah. Upset. No one told me either. Been, you, you've been, uh, t uh, you've been away. You've been like not paying attention we've been adding people i know i, I, think. I guess i suck which i mean fair. no you're 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 in you're in just just join it and you'll be in you'll be a quick drawer all right i think uh hopefully i have no idea actually <laughs> oh, Mun munchie okay. no no not that like Mun hopefully munchie will have made the first episode by the time this is out yeah. i don't actually I'll just know we'll have to watch it because i still don't even know what the conce conceit is it's uh, the basically conceit is, the draw cast. Oh, okay. It's it's the draw cast, but well, it's, it's on its own channel. Cool, and cool. also, yeah. All right, all right. There's, we're gonna do, we're gonna do like other kinds of of draw like challenges, but like base baseline, it's the draw the draw cast is moved to quick oh, draw. Oh, this reminded me that one of my favorite things about the iPad in Procreate, which is cool, is that with Procreate, it automatically records uh, everything you do and like saves it as a video file. So like you can do speed draws automatically. You don't have to think about doing it; it just does it. Oh, by itself. that's cool. So everything cool. I used to, I used to make speed draws and it was annoying. Right. It was just really it just annoying, does it. like setting up OBS to record yeah. my screen. That's why I never did yeah. it either. But now it just does it, and it's like, do you want? You can look at it at any time. You can see. You can scrub through it and see how things are going. And at any point, you just yeah. export it, and then you can use it for anything. And it's uh great. That's that's cool. That's very cool. Well done. Uh, yeah. Um. Anybody well, want to get to the fucking voicemails? Or is there anything else we should talk about? Uh, I'm out. Um, that was that was my one thing I, I wanted to evangelize. That and don't make cry. <laughs> so I'm good. I guess I guess I'm out. My 24 hour stream was uh I don't have it. It, it blew everything else out of my brain. Understandable. Uh, there's, not, there's nothing else left. Yeah. The end. The 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 only thing that I haven't like I could mention is this this silly project that uh, I started. Yeah. Um, um, it, you may remember a long time ago on the Give and Take channel, uh, you've got chainmail. Yeah, of where course. I I show I show the chainmail bodice torso thing made entirely out of paper clips, and I wear it and it's really cool, made out of at least two thousand paper clips. Uh, insane. Epic, insane. One of my Wait, favorites. Have you been wearing it now? <laughs> uh, yes, every day. No, uh, I, I, I I always thought like, I should make. Some you know like plate mail armor, um, some some plate armor, and I was like I I was gathering cardboard for a while there like months and months and months ago gathering cardboard, but it was always too thick or too inconsistent and it was hard to cut and I was like this is terrible this is never gonna work, <laughs> but then I had the big brain, the big <laughs> brain thought, yeah, <laughs> plate armor. Paper plates. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good. I have made, I have made, I will take a picture and I will show you. Oh, I'm so I, I have made um, the the gauntlet, one of the gauntlets, out of paper plates Holy and paper shit. fasteners. <laughs> Whoa. And it was really, uh, I, d I wanted to start with the gauntlet because that's the probably the hardest part. Um, I don't have enough paper fasteners to finish it, but I have plenty of paper plates and it looks and feels incredible. Uh, it's basically... The way to make a gauntlet, uh, I've learned through through uh, per using like uh, hobbyists and, and things mm -hmm. like making forums about all this sort of stuff, is that you need to to have a glove, and then you basically like staple the pieces on in a certain order yeah, from the tip yeah. of the finger down so that it sort of curls round. When uh, when uh, my mom and I made a, a a Vincent Valentine cosplay way back in the yeah, day when we used to go to cons. I, I made a glove with uh, with something like that, but yeah, yeah, it was cool. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna take a picture of it right now, and I'm gonna okay. send it to you. Sick. <laughs> I am excited. This there better get a, a video as legendary as you've got chainmail associated with this incredible creative vision, because I have long remembered back. I've watched it several times. You've got chainmail. It's one of the premier give and take content <laughs> ever produced. I can't. I can't wait to have a full suit of armor made out of everyday items, and you just like cosplay like, <laughs> yeah. like the uh, the everyday Dark Soul guy, and you just go around and just slay 
random items throughout the world. When 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 I was a when I was a when I worked at Astro Camp, we would have like staff events, just like fun shit that we did with each other, uh, like on weekends and stuff. Like we would schedule, like people would sign up to schedule like an event that people would would go to. Yeah. And one weekend we did we did a water. It was like a water balloon fight, but it was like water balloon slash larping, mm. where there was like there were rules, like you had to like. You can have. Oh, ooh, oh I, so I'm seeing the gauntlet. That's oh, really nice. funny. That's really cool looking. Oh, it looks like looks like a king's guard, like a king's guard, like white plate. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be a white knight. I was thinking of like <laughs> potentially like like a uh, painting all the all the plates, but then I I wouldn't know like how yeah, white paint body. affects the bendability and, and now, or whatever. And now you can eat you can eat sloppy hamburgers and just drip it all over yourself, <laughs> and like yeah. it doesn't matter. You can because you're shielded. Yeah, uh, it's like it's a project that will be like a m- many months in the making if I ever get round to like buying enough of the materials. Yeah, uh, yeah. but uh, really cool, I think. I, I, I really like this. E- excellent. But but in in this in this uh, water balloon thing, like you had to pick a class. Like you could be like a mage or a warrior, and like if you were a mage, you had like more water balloons to throw. But if you were a warrior, you could like take more hits with a water balloon before you were dead. Uh huh. And you were and you were allowed to make a shield that could block a hit. And, but like it, you, it had to be a certain size and stuff, and you could only have one. Yeah. And uh, basically, it was like if yeah, if you got wet from the water balloon, it counted as a hit. But if you blocked the water and you didn't get wet from it, then uh. Then he, then you were safe, and uh, it was like an all day like run around and like try and like form teams and like try and like ambush people. It was very fun. You know, the cool. girls are gonna have a major disadvantage against me seeing my manly performance because they were all gonna get wet. You know what I'm saying, ah, bros? Ah, <laughs> I am <laughs> heterosexual. Please believe. Yeah, me. Yeah, the mm-hmm. operation was a success. <laughs> 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 All right, well, that's dope let's as hell. Do, let's, do voice, uh, let's, let's go do fucking mails. listen to some voicemails, I guess. It. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, of course, everyone, speak pipe. Uh, what's the URL again? I always fucking forget. I've I never believe it's PCP it. voicemail. Uh, yeah, speakpipe.com slash PCP voicemails, I think. Link in the description either way. Uh, let me see. First one here is from uh, Rizzy the Weeb. Rizzy the Weeb and commence. Hi. So this is just... Hello. A bit of advice to all the young PCP fans out there wanting to <laughs> make their own YouTube channels. Mm, Don't. Mm. I <laughs> started watching the PCP when I was 12, and before it, I was oh, a happy, no. cute, young girl <laughs> with dreams. And then I started making y- YouTube videos. And now I'm what gay. Just like did you know? <laughs> and don't even get me started on my friends. They make this shitty YouTube lore that's inspired by Jesse because even Whoa. though they did watch it, <laughs> No one listened to the message of the horsey Ushaga one year later because they're all stupid <laughs> and it ruined their lives and I've disowned them all. So please, don't be like us and oh, have no. a nice day for once. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Dude, the, epic. Cutting right uh, to the heart why, of the matter. Yeah. Um, yeah, used to be 12, now is a strong 13. <laughs> a why... why uh, I, I had no idea. I had, my, PCP... I had my whole life ahead of me back then. <laughs> yeah. I, I had no idea the PCP fan base was like so young. The, the, well, they're not the, all, you know, but some of them are. We could look at the no, percentages. No, all of them but... are. All of them are. They're all little babies. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's just fair. everybody that's on fair. YouTube. And that's why we had to start RFCK to round up all the child soldiers Indeed. and get them and put guns in their hands. <laughs> the way or God nunchuck, intended. Or nunchucks or Would brass believe, knuckles or whatever. Could you believe Paradox Crooks is only 11? <laughs> yeah. In- incredible shocking uh well there it is um, the voice of the people it- don't do youtube it's a mistake uh all right next one voicemail from uh, the talent man the talent man let's see how he's talented hey guys i'm hypocrite and then uh, you know and then you know and you know and you know, and you know and, uh, uh, hey guys now i'm the best guy ever i love capitalism Although I wish you made me happy. <laughs> hey guys, uh, now I'm the boo. Creep, 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 creep. <laughs> hey, now I'm on. the boo. Yes, I'm funny. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Uh, you know, I it, was doubtful. 
that, that was is so, That is so hey. something he'd say. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. you know when you're right, you're you know you're right because <laughs> I do say you know a lot. You know, the, yeah. The, the, but you know, <laughs> it's all fine and it's all good and it's all part of my mystique. He really is the talent man ever. <laughs> uh, all right, let's just move on. Uh, next one, Normal Quick Draw Saloon Advertisement is the name of this one. So let's let's see what's on deck. Oh. <laughs> Eighteen naked cowboys in the showers at Quick Draw Saloon. <laughs> Big, hard, throbbing styluses waiting to be sucked. Eighteen naked cowboys waiting to be colored in. Cowboys in the showers. Quick Draw Saloon on their knees waiting to draw cowboy cocks. Quick Draw Saloon. Right. Oh, God. That's it. <laughs> That's the ad. Uh, put it in the show notes. Put in the show notes a link to join. Put it to in the showers. The, to, to yeah. Join, to join the Quick Draw Saloon Discord. Okay, we got. <laughs> Please uh, do so. Oh, um, good, good. <laughs> this is the advertisement they needed. This will send it's them flooding styluses. to Quick Draw Saloon. Uh, okay. <laughs> Next one. Uh, this is from YouTube Recommendations God. Oh, That's just what we need. Okay. I am the YouTube Recommendations God. <laughs> I subscribe to no one and exclusively <laughs> use YouTube Recommendations, which brings me what I want without failure, which is the Procrastinators Podcast. Yeah! Every Friday as soon as it releases, and I enter the YouTube and brings it to me because YouTube is my bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and I have made it my bitch. <laughs> and I don't subscribe to you or pay your stupid goddamn Patreon. <laughs> so you're just missing out. Okay, there you go. <laughs> uh, what you just a, what? disappeared into the ether. Yeah. A, me a message of hope. <laughs> um. Maybe YouTube isn't so broken after all. If there's hope <laughs> from God Sorry. Himself. I, I would, I would like to know if anybody was just like, "Oh, I'm just on YouTube recommended." Oh, what's this? The Procrastinators podcast, PCP. I like drugs. Like, did anybody <laughs> find us through that? Um, <laughs> I would, God, I, would I hope love so. To know. We've got a large drug using demographic, I've no doubt. Um Okay. Uh, the only the only yeah. drugs our viewers take is there uh is there a hormone replacement therapy. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's my that's that's what I mean. When you're right, on. you're right, Ben. Um <laughs> swing. <laughs> All right, next one. This is from uh, I'm just being Chad. So mm, get right, get right. to it. All right, I got a I'm just being cool purple hoodie from the Teespring officially. Way to yes. go. But, and here's what I'm doing. I, I got that on and Tweet imagine it. some kind of fanny pack. Please do. And headphones This sounds there, like a like phone, a minimized 50% munchie. These are music True. songs, the good ones, and I'm jamming out in the hallways hardcore fucking real shit. It's a Weezer. Okay. Everyone likes me. I'm the cool kid now. Uh <laughs> except still no GF, but I don't even fucking care cuz it's so fun to just be cool and it's the best thing ever. Yeah. Thanks for liberating me. Oh, just being cool! There he goes. Oh, there, there he goes, Mr. Weezer Man. Okay, good, good. I think we've heard enough. I like, I, I, uh huh. I like to imagine that, like, that this, 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 you know, boy. Yeah. Has like just got a grand piano. <laughs> I, yeah. Like, it sounds like a normal piano, but it could be, like, a big grand piano that was super polished, and this is, like, the richest boy in he's, America. He's wearing, in. He's, he's, he's wearing his, uh, his I'm Just Being Cool hoodie in, like, uh, the, the fucking Carnegie Hall, like, like, Opera House or whatever. He's, he's yeah. wearing, no, this yeah. is, this is big anime fan, a fan of anime podcast, the Procrastinators podcast, of Baron Trump, calling in from Trump Tower to, you know, mm. give us the, the stuff we need. I That's think, why he's uh, a chat. You know, thinking about him, just like, you know, tuning out the world to his tunes, wearing mm -hmm. his purple eye, and just being, he kind of sounds like the worst guy ever, a little bit. Hmm. He kind of sounds like there's maybe some resemblance. No, the, the, the worst guy ever has no abilities, such as piano <laughs> playing, uh, you know, uh, uh, speech sure. without impediment, uh, you know. <laughs> The, the idea of being cool, or, you know, he would never call himself Chad. That is a patriarchal term that I'm certain he would never use to describe himself. Mm. So mm. we can rule that one out for sure. 
Um, okay. But but good news. Um, new voicemail. It's time to shit on the Pizza Party podcast. Yes, it's finally. It's time to shit on the Pizza Party podcast. <laughs> Everyone's favorite segment. Um, Let's. Let's play. Can we? We need to make this a regular segment. I want to hear that every episode, and we all yeah. bring a list yeah. of grievances. We all bring a list of grie. No, let's seriously do this. I will. Do I know this. nothing I about a, them. I will let's bring start a right list. Now. I will bring a list of grievances as starting this week against the Pizza Party Podcast. Okay, uh, grievance number one: Pizza's not keto. Number, <laughs> number two. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> number two, movies don't like them. Number three, uh, 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 parties, ne- ne- parties. Ne- I, I I have no affiliation with any political parties. Yeah. So like, get what is out. This political hackery, guys. Cut it out. Number number four, never listen to the podcast. Where is it, guys? The end. <laughs> <laughs> I'm convinced, man. All right. We'll be waiting for your diss wait, track wait, next week. Where's the pizza party podcast? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. We Every sit week, here. I'm just, I'm just waiting. Where's the podcast, guys? Where's the podcast? You <laughs> where the hell is it? You double uh, PCP member. Okay, let's go. Next one, Steven Universe Gay. Commence. Steven Universe, more like gay. Steven Universe is gay. <laughs> ah. <laughs> what does everyone have a piano? What does everybody have a piano? Is this the this same time? guy? I no, that's a different guy. I think. Okay, it there he goes. The same guy. <laughs> Maybe it is the same guy. I could. There's no way for me to tell. Um, good. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> he, uh, he's, re- doing... he's really going for it. He's, he's going, really going for, for it. <laughs> I, I played this as an apology to everyone who's bored of Steven Universe topics. Um, so am I. So am I. So no more of that. No more of that. And I'm stronger than you. Da, 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 da. Hey. <laughs> I, I didn't even give him his fair shake. Good job playing the piano, sir. It's just that it happened to come right after another one who also did. So you've been upstaged. Um, all right. Anyway. That was good. That was a really good piano. It was good. Yeah. It's true. I, like, uh, okay. I like the warbliness of it. Next one is uh, Thu for you. Could this be the return of our hero, Jeff? Let's find out. This voicemail is brought to you by bonus episode number 22, Dreams Cast, in which Nate mentioned an mm-hmm. octopus story, which he failed to recount because apparently he said it many times. I want to hear Nate's octopus story. Oh, Tell yeah. me about the octopuses. This has been from the Dreams Cast. Now, first of making all. Making you shit the bed every <laughs> single time. <laughs> <laughs> first of all uh i wish i could have shit the bed the other night but beyond that um uh if you want to hear the full context here people the low low price of five dollars on patreon.com slash the procrastinators per episode get in there and you're, you're gonna want to hear that but uh in brief i had a dream once uh, that was me becoming an, a viral internet sensation because i went up to a takoyaki stand and demanded Quote unquote octopus balls, which is, I suppose, one way to describe takoyaki as they are little balls of dough with uh, octopus inside them. And someone captured this on film, and this became a viral sensation. Nate wasn't and his the, octopus balls, and that was the wasn't, dream. Wasn't it, uh, weren't in the, in the clip, weren't yeah. you yelling, like, I want my goddamn octopus balls? Oh, that sounds right. That sounds right. <laughs> sound, I think that's what you said. Because I know I've talked about, about it before. Uh, so yeah, I, I, it, and it was that. And everyone thought that was so fucking funny. Like, so random, dude. Like, who would even say that? Oh my god. Um, and <laughs> this dream did become a DBZ battle shortly afterward. That was pretty cool <laughs> as I flew through the skies. <laughs> With who? With I, who well, though? I don't know who I was fighting, but I was presumably using my newfound internet fame to fuel my flight. Um, <laughs> okay. and my, and my strikes. That's, that's all I remember. Okay. <laughs> I think cool. that was it. Uh, okay. Anyway, so there's the story moving on. Next one is from art director 69. Uh, oh, I typed the right command here and go. Hey, what's up? Art Director of 69 here with a question about self-expression. Mm. How do you feel about artists being vulnerable and emotional in their work? Don't do Never. it. It's prevalent in it. music, but I'm talking more specifically about games, comics, and film. Do you think you will ever bleed onto a page? 
I uh, I fucking ble- I fucking bleed onto the page every day of my life. <laughs> uh, um, well, it's sweat my tears. fucking wrists. Oh yeah, that too. What do you think, Gabe? I guess um, uh, I'm trying to think about like like being emotionally vulnerable in the art. Like you 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 write a book and it's like a tr- a, f- a thing that's very close to your heart, and then yep. somebody says this book sucks, and then you get really hurt because that's you basically. Like yeah, is that's that one the way. sort of like a vulnerable a vulnerability hmm. that he's talking about? Because I, okay, I think I with, think yeah, um, yeah, go on, go on. It, it it depends on how much you want to express that. Yeah. But like in any art, if you express yourself, um, and people just hate it, then I don't know. Well, Be- you're gonna feel sad if you care about something that you make and and people really don't like it. Yeah, that's definitely but, true. Um, you wanted you wanted to make it in the first place, so like I think it's just a matter of think degrees, you... right? Like everybody's ex- yeah. like, you know being putting themselves into their art because that's just the nature of what it is. It's just depending on how direct or how deep you want to go into it. When 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 I think about being emotionally vulnerable through your art, I think of something like um like like you you know like you basically you put yourself into the story right. You have like a character have like an emotional conflict that is based basically like it's it's yours right. Like you yeah like you write you write a you write a story about how your wife left you because you were because you really liked sucking dick <laughs> and and then you put and you put that in the story and you make that the the the, the main character's conflict and you make it relatable. Or there are like degrees of separation because like like in music he said is the prime example a lot of people sing in the first person and be like blah 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 she left me i was really sad etc etc so and like if you write a story there's there's you can always hide behind a veil i mean even with music a lot of people say like that you know they they amp up the emotions being portrayed in the songs and the lyrics and whatnot i mean obviously Nate, they are remember yeah. that book how not to write a novel of course yes Okay, I remember there's one example of like badly written like like putting mm. like obviously the main character is the author and it's like it's like the the, the passage is like he stared he stared into his beer, you know, he was you know, you know, mm. morose. You know, he he had he had tried to deny it for so long. He had thought he could he had thought he could fix the problem. He had tried everything, but the time had come. He had he had to face the harsh reality of the situation. I was impotent. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. That's I guess that good. would give it away. <laughs> that would. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, but that's what I. That's what I think of when I think of like you know being making yourself emotionally vulnerable through your art. I right? mean, a story about some hard shit that you had to deal with. Yeah. And, make, and put it put it on display, even if it is in a fictionalized context. That's I think, true. I think it, it right, just you write, depends write a story on... where people read it and they're like, I can tell that like the author went through this. The author knows how this feels. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think it depends a lot on like how much you feel the need to tell the story at all. Like mm-hmm. sure. if, if it's if it's hurting to keep it bottled up inside, but you don't want to just talk about it in a normal conversation, then art is the way to go. Yeah. Um mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But like, if it's if it's just sort of like you could write a book about it, and it's embarrassing if people thought it was you, uh, and you'd be you know you'd feel vulnerable about it. But you don't you don't you could just never talk about it, and it would be fine. Well, you know that's kind of interesting. Like, uh, uh, you know, serious question, slightly rhetorical, but it's like, what what is the point of like putting your emotions into a story? Like to put your emotion, your emotional vulnerability in it. And like, like, why not? Like, I, like, go see a counselor and like work it out or something. I, I suppose it's to well, exploit it for literal monetary gain, right? Or I, I don't think it's necessarily to exploit. Mm-hmm. Uh, Maybe that's a negative word. Like, but, you, yeah. you could have like had an experience and then gotten over it, and then re- you, you still remember the experience. So you could use that to inform a character. Sure, to, sure. You know, I think, I think um, it's like writing what you know. You know, if it's something that you yeah. have experience with, it's like you can, you, you're going to be yeah, able it's, to it's, give. Uh, whatever story you're crafting, um, uh, a degree of authenticity. Mm-hmm. You know, you're not making and, and something it's up. That's true. And it's, yeah, it's not just authenticity. It's just, like, also easier to work on something when you know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Like, if you mm-hmm. if you say, oh, what's hot right now? Characters who have uh, no legs. All right. I don't know what it's like, but I guess I'll try and write a story about a guy who doesn't have legs. Yeah. It's going to be more difficult for you to, to do that. Unless you're a complete hack. Well, uh, that's certainly true. That's certainly true. And you hacked your legs off. <laughs> <laughs> that is, you know, that'd be commitment. Uh, this, this makes me think of, like, I don't know, there's some mediums that are different. Like, when you're writing a story about another character, you can definitely make it about issues that you care about. And probably without, without exception, almost every, I suppose I'll say every, like, sincere 
uh, story that's written will probably be informed by some experience, Absolutely. like at least to a degree. I think that, like it's the like author has had for like art. It, yeah, it's it's pre- how I, I literally don't know how you couldn't do that. You have to on some it's, level it's, understand. It's, it's mandatory for for an art by one person. When you're working in yeah. a team, oh, uh, yeah, people's true. ideas and values get squished together and compromised and. Um, you know, the bigger the yeah. the com- the committee, the 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 mm-hmm. weirder it is. And I suppose less it's fair to an, say less of a personal project it becomes. That's true, and you could all. I suppose you could literally like. Let's say that you just yeah, you want to write about depression. You literally like Google someone's book about depression, read it, and then attempt to like you know just do what they said or something. Yeah, um, I mean, but to I, mean, I don't know. Degree, I think people do that all the time. They're trying to you know be accurate yeah. to what they're trying to represent, and they want to have a certain aspect in the art, but they don't have personal experience. Sure, there, so they look it up to try and in, model it. In in mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. in in Vapors Three, uh, Magda goes to the hospital, yeah. and I remember when I was, was like planning out the story i talked to does she also was, not be able to shit stop ripping off my stories man <laughs> god damn it i i i um like i wanted to write this but i was like i don't really know like how this the procedure would like i don't know like what the pro- hospital protocol would be yeah. for this so i talked to fuck what's your friend's name for your high school friend it, it doesn't my matter friend? but you know um. yeah you had a friend in high school a girl who I she was like a nurse or something, and I and I called her. Oh and yeah, I, asked I know. Her, like, her. Hey, yeah, yeah. T- like you, you work at a hospital. Tell me how you think it would go if X Y Z happened. Like, mm-hmm. What would be done with this person? Yeah, okay. And, uh, so I, she I, said, I, "Who the hell are you?" And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, was that was that recent or was that a while ago? No, that was like before I even started making it. Oh, okay, okay. This just was curious. just like to get like a how would this go, and mm-hmm. then I go like, okay, so here's here's okay. So I I have at least one like professionals opinion that this is more or less what would happen uh-huh. and i was like okay well you know maybe it wouldn't always happen but I'm, I'm satisfied i'm satisfied that i my story is not like stupid and ridiculous and someone would read and be like this would never happen this doesn't make any sense hospitals would you know wouldn't do this um mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. well that's cool but i mean uh, yeah. to, to get back to his point of like specifically emotional vulnerability or whatever i mean what, what the first thing that that made me think of was uh, obviously like music comes to mind but like for something that I've done, like in Gurrenlog in part two, there's that moment at the end where I specifically draw the focus to like me and how like I personally like, I'm like, blah, blah, blah. This story could really make a difference. Like, let's say like a sad, lonely guy, like making videos in his mom's basement or whatever, or, you know, like in his whatever, in like a shitty apartment that, uh, you know, and he knows by only like working hard to improve his life will he, and stop being addicted to like sex, video games, drugs, or, or like whatever, will he like improve? And there's like a picture of me on screen. I am saying this about myself. Um, and so like, so like, this is what it meant to me. And I'm, I'm, I'm saying like, yeah, like I fuck up. Th- that's not a particularly vulnerable moment uh, or anything. But like, mm-hmm. I I really don't like being vulnerable pretty much at all. Um, though obviously it's do. it's. But you know what I was gonna say though. But I definitely recognize, and I kind of feel like, like using quote unquote vulnerability, or at least signaling vulnerability with like sappy music or like talking softly, sure is yeah. a good way to like make people give a shit. Um, or there's you know, a there's a yeah, it's just something you. S- you see on YouTube, like someone mm-hmm. will just do it. I don't know. There was one. Yeah. Like remember was, Logan was, Paul crying when he could see colors for the first being time. That, you if you're know? hamming it up on purpose, that's like a marketing. Well, that's my point. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's hard because like you see, you see, you see YouTubers do it all the time, and you don't want to be like, oh, this person's just faking that. This yeah, person, yeah. you know, they're just doing it for the views, like. You know, I think in any, like, okay, this is a piece of art that someone is making to put out for public consumption. So in any of these scenarios, there is some amount of, like, performance Correct. and, like, selection. Mm-hmm. And, like, some some thought like thought goes into how this will be presented. Even if like, it's, it's just that they chose to release it versus not release it. They chose that. Yeah, so. e- even, yeah even if it were totally candid, yes. this is being, like, put out on the internet. Yep. Um, but, like, yeah. But you you can't you can't say oh this is all fake because like obviously if there's emotion there it must come from at least slightly a real place like they must at least know some like, like I don't know I mean I guess some people could just be lying but I'm sure I'm sure that's they're not I'm sure yeah. most people are 
I don't know, someone, someone will make, they'll have one episode where they talk about suicide, and then they'll be like, actually, guys, you know, I didn't want to talk about this, but, you know, I actually tried to commit suicide once, and everyone's yeah. like, oh my god, I mean, me too! Yeah, on this and, subject, yeah. I'm definitely guilty of hyperbole at various points in my, in my output of content and whatnot. I, my highest virtue is honesty, and so I always try to avoid it, but I, I'm certain that I've... Why <laughs> so you avoid honesty? <laughs> well, did I say that wrong? What I, me I meant well, to no, it's, it sounded like you said, my highest virtue is honesty, comma, so I always try to avoid it. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> well, so 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 that's important. That's one That's one virtue I'm trying to purge myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so, I don't know. Like, I, I'm certain that I will uh, continue to do things that are at least somewhat emotionally, whatever, vulnerability-inducing or whatever. Um, but I don't know. Uh, it's not something that I really like to do that much. I don't, I don't know. Mm. That's That's all I got. That's all I got. Uh, okay, Hell we got yeah. one more. We got one more. Um, and this voicemail is from a uh, friend of the show, uh, Niggas Flexin' and Still Hatin'. So let's see what he's got for us. <laughs> okay. uh, go. Hey, take a big hit. Talk a little shit. Yeah, you know I mean? You niggas is coolin'. Doing what you're doing. Fucking with the PCP. Y'all should come out to the hood sometime. You niggas is good and bumped it. Peace. <laughs> Wait, what was that last line? He said peace. He said you niggas is good and bumping. Good. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I, I like um, bumping. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I appreciate um, that. Well, Ben, you heading out to the hood? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, heading out to the hood to, to get some milk. What, I'm going to bump oh, down the road on my bumper car. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate, oh. strawberry, whole milk, skim milk. The, the choices are endless. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow, was that president of Hood Corporation, uh, niggas flexing and still hating <laughs> the man himself? Thank you. Uh, what a character. Well, I can't. <laughs> you, you can't. You can't. Um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get I'm gonna get some heavy cream because it's key. Yeah, oh, of course. You, got, you guys course. got heavy cream? He'll hook you there. up. All right. Can we get a sponsorship yeah. by the Hood Corporation, perhaps, or a heavy cream uh, on the PC? Please. <laughs> oh, pl I'll drink it live. <laughs> <laughs> uh okay let's go let's go Are we that's done? i think we're done here. that was the last one we're wrapping it up um okay so patreon.com people slash the procrastinators uh give us five dollars for the bonus episodes dreamcast you heard a little discussion of it get in on the action people you don't want to be left out in the cold you want to be in on the party so give us your money please uh twitter at tp crastinators you know we're doing our thing on there so go follow for updates and whatnot um Speak pipe, of speak, course, speak of course. Pipe. Get in there. Uh, link in the description. Leave us your voicemails. There were a lot of voicemails this week. A lot of them were like kind of bordering on good, but I had to cut many of them anyway. So keep up in your quality, people. Keep working on mm -hmm. it. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, and the only other thing is, of course, let me remind everybody again, the hashtag PCP editor contest is going strong for one more week. You've got one week from when you're hearing this to enter if you so desire. And one week should be plenty of time. To, uh, to get it done. So there'll be a link in the show notes, yeah. and there's a whole other video, the one probably that came out before this, uh, hashtag PCB Editor Contest. Go watch it. Read the document. It's important. Make sure you do all the steps, and, uh, and there you go. Best of luck. May the best individual win. So that's it. Uh, excellent. All right. Excellent. Thanks another, for being Another here. one in the bag, boys. That's correct. Another hey. paycheck cashed. We did it. <laughs> uh, thanks for being here, and we'll see you next week, everybody. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Yeah. 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 Uh. I'm supposed to 